Welcome everybody to Pick a Stack Wednesday. This is take number two. So many things have happened in the last, I don't know, 15 minutes to stop me from doing this video. From the dogs to things not working out right to this going underneath the couch. <laughs> so many things. So apparently there's going to be something important that I channel here and it's going to affect somebody in a positive way and change your life. So um, I don't let things like that stop me and you shouldn't either. And that's part of the message today. It's been a really interesting morning. I'm going to start off by talking about that. Sorry, the ringing in my ear is really loud right now. Um, there's a lot going on, not only in this physical 3D world, but out there as well. Um, between Pluto and Aquarius, you know, which brings upheaval, um, and big solar flares coming in, you know, big M class. I think we had a four point something yesterday. I don't know, the days get all mixed up. Um, the tumultuous energies, the energies out there that are going up and down and up and down and I'm happy and then all of a sudden I'm sad and I don't know why because nothing happened. Um, arguments, you know, there's a holy war going on out there. It's, it's light versus dark, it's good versus evil, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that affects us on the 3D plane. As you can tell by what goes on out there, um, if you're at all empathic, which means you're very sensitive to energies, um, you're feeling all this. And you, one of the things that we need to do is raise your frequency, keep your frequency high, okay? But also recognize when those feelings aren't yours. For example, last night I had this huge sense of loss and sadness and grief inside me. It wasn't mine. Now, I don't need to know whose it is. I don't need to know where it's coming from, but I do need to recognize that it's not mine and I need to not dwell in that. So what do you do when that happens? You do whatever it takes to identify that it's not yours and then raise your frequency. So you do what you love. I was painting baby turtles because that makes me happy. Not real turtles, okay? Don't freak out. I'm not painting live turtles. Um, but I did something that brings me joy. And I just kept telling myself, this isn't mine. And I don't know whose it is, but I send you love. Okay? So that's our, our number one message for the day. If you're new to Pick a Stack, what we do here is whatever we can to help you, okay? I mean, that's ultimately what it comes down to. Um, we're doing this singing bowl to raise the frequency. This is an F heart chakra bowl. This is one of the bowls that just came in yesterday. It is for sale. And I just love this tone. It makes my heart happy. So this charges up the cards and the crystals and me and you and the plants and the animals and Mama Earth. Everything that can feel this vibration. You don't have to hear it with your ears. You feel it with your cells in your body. So we're going to have three stacks of cards. I'm going to need to set this down. We have three stacks of cards and you get to choose. Number one, number two, number three. Or you can choose two of them, or you can choose all three of them. I highly encourage you to listen to the whole video because there might be something, some morsel that you need to hear in stack number three, but you chose stack number one, okay? Stack number one is going to be a card from this Tarot of Dreams deck. That is Cyril Marchetti. Stack number two is going to be the Spirit Song Tarot by Paulina Cassidy. Stack number three is going to be a card from the Beyond Lemuria deck by Izzy Ivy. This is probably, well, it's in the top three decks that people choose. I pay attention to what people choose, at least what you select online um, on our Facebook page. 
So this is this is in the top three, and this is in the top three. Spirit Song and Pian La Maria. Do you like my new backdrop? Oh my gosh, this just arrived yesterday. I could not resist doing today's video in front of it. It's just this really cool old bookcases. There's a candle here. There's there's a lamp post on that side with a broom. It just, I don't know, behind this couch, it just makes me feel like old world. I feel like I should go put my witch's hat on. Maybe I will next time. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's see what stack number one has to say. Stack number one is gonna be a card from Tarot of Dreams. Let's see what our guides, oh, excuse me, what our guides want us to know today in stack number one. Stack number one, okay, we got cards falling on the floor. All right, you want me to do both of them? Okay. My guide said both. So we're gonna do two cards for stack number one. And it's a very interesting two cards. So we've got the three of cups, which is like Mardi Gras, it's a celebration, right? Our cups are full. Um, the light is shining on these cups. This is fun. This is celebrating. And we've got the death card, which is card number 13 in the major arcana. So what this tells me, first of all, like polarity, um, because this card's dark, this card's light. This card a lot of times invokes fear in people. Oh no, I got the death card. Somebody's going to die. I'm going to die. No, that's not what it means. but it's polarity, death, life, change, and celebration. This is the dying of the old way, the old way you lived your life, the old way you worked your job, the old way of your relationships. This is saying, not that it's time for a change, because time doesn't exist. Because I was going to say it's time for a change, but my, my guides went, uh, 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 no. It means the change is coming whether you're ready or not. That's what that means. And I know this is for me because I've been getting five, five, fives constantly for the last couple of weeks. Um, other things that I'm doing for my personal life, everything's coming up. Your life's going to change. Your life's going to change. And it's going to be like that. That's what this is talking about. This is the falling away of the old way of you doing things. The old way of you having expectations. This is a big word that they're giving me, expectations. Expectations ruin relationships. Expectations ruin our relationship with ourselves. If I expect you to act in a certain way or react in a certain way or behave in a certain way, and then you don't, then I'm disappointed. But am I disappointed in you? No, I'm really disappointed in myself because I put that, that pre-judgment out there, that expectation of your behavior. And that's not what we're supposed to be doing. I don't control you any more than you control me. But this card is talking about this letting go of the old way of you behaving in a certain way, of you reacting in a certain way. It's the end of a cycle of abusive relationships. It's the end of a cycle of alcoholism or drug abuse. It's the end of a cycle of bad jobs that you just take because you want a job. No, we want a job that's our joy. If you're not getting up in the morning and going, yay, I get to go to work, you're in the wrong job or you're in the job for the wrong reason. If you're just in it for money, that's not what, I mean, that's a job. You want a job that's your joy. You know, like for me, I used to be a corporate project manager. I'm so much better now because now I get to wake up and go, I actually like my job. That's my joy. I get to help people. 
I get to play with pretty rocks and tarot decks and things that are fun. Um, I pay myself in rocks. <laughs> it's great. This is what we're talking about here. This letting go of that old way of doing things. You don't get a job just for the money. You get a job that you actually will enjoy. Because if you enjoy it, you're putting your good energy into it and good energy will come out of it. Don't have that spirit of victimhood on you. Like, oh, I have to do this job because it's the only one around. Oh my God, there's jobs everywhere. And if you can't find the perfect job for you, first of all, you don't find it. You tell your guides, I'm ready for it. Thank you for bringing it to me. Then create it. Then create it. Nobody says you can't do that. Okay? Create your own job that's your joy. But talk to your spirit guides. Thank you for bringing me that job that's my joy. Thank you for helping me get out of this abusive relationship. Thank you for bringing me a new relationship where I can enjoy myself and have fun with a partner that gets me, um, with a partner that I get. We like to do similar things, but we can also be independent of each other. Okay, we're not talking about codependency. No, 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 we don't want that. That's old way. But the falling away of these old ways brings this celebration, this newness, this freshness, this exciting new chapter of our lives. And that's what they want us to celebrate. I just heard somebody say, yeah, but that's going to be scary. You know what? What's scary is you staying in this abusive relationship. What's scary is you staying in this job that you don't enjoy, that you're just doing for the paycheck. Okay? That's what's scary. Let's put it out there that the universe is going to bring me the perfect whatever for me. I'm going to enjoy the heck out of it. My life is going to change in so many positive ways. I'm going to celebrate. And people are going to look at me and go, I don't know what you're doing, but holy cow, you're just glowing now. And it's because you let go of the old way of doing things. Wow, that was really cool. And the fact that both these cards fell on the floor that's awesome. Thank you to my spirit guides. We get to have some singing bowl. Now remember too, as you get that perfect job for you, that perfect relationship for you, that perfect home for you, whatever it is, know that you deserve it. Okay? We're not doing this victimhood crap. I deserve all good things. Tell yourself that. I deserve all good things. Now this does, I'm not giving you permission to go out and max out your credit cards um, and buy all kinds of you know, stuff that you don't need. That's not what this is about. You deserve good relationships. You deserve a great place to live. You deserve the perfect job for you that's your joy. You deserve all the things that will bring happiness and joy to your soul. If that means you get a smoking deal on a motorcycle and that brings happiness to your soul, then that's what you should do. Just saying that, you know, maybe that's what I did last year. You know when it's the right one, you can't pass it up. Seriously? Oh my gosh, look at my third eye. <laughs> the sun is coming through the skylight. That's awesome. All right, that was stack number one. Stack number two is going to be a reading from the Spirit Song Tarot. <laughs> there it is again. I love it. The sun, in order for that to happen, the sun has to peek over my neighbor's garage. Actually, it's not coming through the skylight. It's coming through the window over there. It has to get between two displays. The sun says... I love you and I miss you. I love you too, sunshine. Grandfather Sun. Stack number two, you're going to get one card. 
So this is the queen of crystals in this deck and it's represented by a hedgehog. And I'm smiling because this reminds me of my friend Cody Cooper, whose favorite animal is a hedgehog. And these cute little buggers always remind me of him because, well, he's cute too. So he doesn't watch my videos, but that's okay. Cody, this is for you. This is a queen of crystals, also known as the queen of earth or the queen of pentacles. This is all about prosperity, material things. This is, you know, the queen is the one who she looks after her people. When she gets prosperity, she makes sure, oh, hello, grandfather, son. She makes sure that everybody's taken care of. So she's taking care of the family, whether it's the, the, the nuclear family or the, the whole family. Um, it doesn't even have to be by blood. Um, you know, I don't have blood family here to take care of, but I make sure I take care of my non-blood family, my soul family. Um, it's just what the queen does. She's connected to mama earth. She is grounded, but she's also about abundance and prosperity. And when I say abundance, I don't necessarily mean money. It can be material things. It can be trees and plants and rocks and crystals and stones. It could be water. It could be food. Um, but there's this like all natural aspect to the queen of crystals, the all natural aspect to the abundance and prosperity. It could be an abundance of love. Really, it could because all these things make us happy, right? So were you asking about money? Because if you were, be the queen of crystals, be the queen of pentacles, the queen of earth. It doesn't matter male or female, okay? Be the hedgehog of crystals allow, put it out there what you want and then allow it to come to you. Um, the queen does not have to go out and look for those things. First of all, she's magical in herself. And second of all, she allows these things to come to her. So if you're asking about a job, a relationship, a home, um, a vehicle, whatever, put it out there. This is what I want. And it's for the highest and greatest good of all all okay because we don't want to take from anybody else and then allow it to come to you i know for example my bus my bus is going to come to me i don't know how i don't know when i just know that my spirit guides have already given me so many affirmations that my bus is coming to me i do not have to go look for it now i can go online and look at all different kinds of bus configurations to see what i like but it doesn't matter because my guides will bring me the perfect bus for me and what I'm going to do with it, which is take people on adventures with crystals and tarot cards and healings. I mean, how fun is that? So this little hedgehog is telling us to prepare our sacred space and that means within ourselves for what is coming this abundance this prosperity this new job this new relationship this new love prepare what my guides just showed me is if somebody's going to have a baby most people will have a room or space in a room set aside for the baby and they will decorate it. They will think about the colors and, um, you know, maybe you have grandmother's whatever that you're going to add into that or um, the family furniture or pictures or cute little animal mobile, you know, whatever. But you're preparing that space for this baby that isn't even here yet. And that's what we need to be doing with this stack number two. We need to be preparing our sacred space for whatever it is that we want to come in to our lives. So whatever that means to you. Um, hmm.
I already have the space prepared for the bus that I'm getting. Physically. Mentally, absolutely. One of the things, too, is don't worry about money. So, using my bus as an example. Do I have the money to pay for a bus right now? No. Do I have the money to pay for the insurance on a bus right now? No. Am I worried about it? No. Because however it's going to come to me, the whole package is going to come to me. And that's what they wanted me to remind you is whatever you're asking about, don't worry. Too many times we put this caveat on it Whoops, that, yes, I want this house. Oh, but I know I'm not going to be able to afford the mortgage. And then there's, you know, all these other, there's maintenance. And then there's, I, I got to have some homeowner's insurance and, I got to have this and that and the other thing. And, um, oh, what if I can't make ends meet? You just blew up your house. You blew up your dream house. That's that victim mentality. No. Spirit of lack. No. Let it go. I deserve all good things. And if the universe brings it to me, the universe will bring me the whole package. And I don't need to worry about how, what, when, where, why, any of that stuff. Okay, so stop worrying, prepare your space because you are the queen of crystals and you deserve this deep down inside. There's a little tiny part of you that says, yeah, I do deserve this. Well, bring that up. You do deserve all good things. Look at this card. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to have to keep moving because the sun keeps, the sun keeps moving. All right, so queen of crystals, queen of pentacles, queen of earth. I am going to move a little bit. Ah, that's not much better. I'll just stay back here. There we go. <laughs> oh, the light always finds me. Literally, I could be in a dark room and the light will find me. And I'm not complaining. I have a little heart chakra. No. Okay. If you chose stack number three, you are going to get a card from Beyond Lemuria. Yay! Let's call in the Lemurians. We love you, Lemurians. Last time I used this deck, somebody said, who are the Lemurians? The Lemurians were a civilization that existed way, way, way back in the day. Same time frame as Atlantis. Um, only the Lemurians were more in the area of where California, Hawaii, that area is. And the legend is that some of them um, still live under Mount Shasta. I think that's kind of silly because they're not three-dimensional. They ascended. They can live wherever they want because they're in a higher dimension. And the Lemurians are all about love. They live right here, right here in the heart. And they are so beautiful and amazing. They're very flowy. All right. What do the Lemurians want our stack three people to know today? What do you want us to know today? What do you want us to know today? What beautiful message. Okay, this is kind of interesting. So this card fell out. Now, I was sitting in my shop yesterday having a conversation with somebody, and she said, do you have that Lemurian deck? And I said, yes, I'll draw you a card. And so we drew her a card, and we had a conversation about it. And then I said, okay, Lemurians, what card do you have for me today? Well, this was yesterday. It's the same card that came out just now. So I take this as very important. It's not just for me, it's for everybody. This is card number eight. Eight is the number of prosperity. We just talked about prosperity in stack number two. 
This is the third eye chakra. And what did I just say earlier when the sun was right on my third eye, right? Third eye. Um, this card shows, there we go, a pyramid. This is the third eye card. It's very bluish, bluish green, pineal perspective. All right. Let's just see what the Lemurians have to say about card number eight. Connect with your third eye and transcend what you understand with your mind. Discover a deep inner knowing through the interconnected web of all that is and has been. You can tune into this wisdom at will. Can't even, this card is just like on fire fire. This wisdom is ancient yet pioneering. It is the creator of the free will we choose to weave from moment to moment. Be the observant witness. Allow the transcendence of duality without judgment. Now we had duality in stack number one. Remember the polarity, um, the death card and the three of cups, the letting go of the old ways and the celebration of the change. Be mindful, listen, and allow your unfurling intuition to unravel the paradoxes of reality. Ex examine limiting ideas. Listen more. We have two ears and one mouth. Listen. Balance the left hemisphere's logical and analytical thinking with inner guidance and deep wisdom. Take note of any thought patterns that may be holding you from your fullest potential through the mind-based fear of past experiences. So this is basically saying, whatever you were asking about, use your intuition, use your right brain and your third eye. Your right brain is the intuitive side. Your left brain is the one that's going to use ego and past experiences and overthink everything. And your right brain is going, yeah, but you know what? If we do this, it could actually be fun. It's going to smell good and be pretty and, and, and we're going to have an adventure. We don't have to overthink it over here. No, 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 no. So use your intuition. This is why we have it and everybody has it. So if you're thinking, well, but I can't do that. Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. You just got to allow yourself to find that still point. And that means like right now, No music, no phone, no TV, no talking, just silence. No, it's not hard. And it actually is very uplifting, enlightening. If you're afraid to feel the silence, it means there's some voices in your head that you probably should get rid of that aren't you. Smudging would really help with that. Praying, saying, get off of me, you attachments. I don't need you. Use your intuition. Talk to your spirit guides. Talk to... God, creator, great spirit, Jesus, Archangel Michael, Mother Mary, Odin, whoever resonates with you, talk to them. My spirit guides, my ancestors, for me, my children. Ask them for help. Ask them for clarity.
I've said this in a bunch of videos, we need to develop the relationships between this physical version of me, the me that's in the higher realms, and the beings working with the light out there. This is the way we need to be working on relationships. We've got the 3D relationships down pat. We need to work on these 3D to 5D relationships. Okay. And if you need help with that, ask. This is so weird because this I don't I don't remember the sun ever hitting this spot, which is why I sat here. <laughs> Pretty clever, grandfather son. That was stack number three. Thank you for joining me today. I send you blessings of love, light, peace, joy, happiness, success, divine health, and all good things because I know you guys are worthy. I know you deserve it all. You're my soul family. This is the reason why I do this for you. This is the reason you listen to this because we're family. So thank you, and I wish for you an amazing rest of your day. Mwah. Namaste.